Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 801. If you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 801, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to go back to video 798. In this video, we did a search, so we're going to search for M A N N, and we want to return all the records that have M A N N. If I type M A M, so it's like a partial text lookup in this column here and returning multiple records. But in that video, we used the aggregate function which only works in 2010. So in 801, I want to show you how to do it in 2003 or 7 or any earlier version going back. All right, we're still going to have to do an approximate uh, lookup here. So MAN needs to be matched through this column here. So we're going to use the search function. And the search function is programmed to find some text like this. And it's really programmed to just use a single cell like that and it returns the position actually let me do uh, this one right here so it'll return position one because man starts in this text string at position one but we're gonna force the issue and that argument we're gonna give it all of these and it will return a bunch of errors or positions right so we can highlight I keep forgetting my form my recorder f9 is pause so I have to go up here and hit you can see we get a bunch of value errors and 111. So those 111s is a trigger we'll use for counting up here and then for extracting uh, three records down here. Control Z. All right, now what do we need to do up here? We need to count. So I'm going to wrap is number around that. That'll give us a bunch of trues and falses. F can't get that out of my hand. I have to hit this up here. Uh, okay, so we see those two trues, control Z, and I'm actually going to lock this with the F4 key and this and this also and copy this because I'm going to use this again down here in this bigger formula. All right, and then we can put this inside of some product. Some product can handle the array because that's an array of trues and falses. We need to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros, so we do that with double negative. All right, and so that will count. This double negative instead of gives us trues and falses, if I hit F9 or this right here, it gives us ones and zeros. And the sum product then can handle that array and add those ones. All right, now here we're going to create a formula just like we did in uh, 798. We're going to copy down, but we need it to turn off after the third row. There's only going to be three records. So down here we need blanks. So we're going to use the if equals if. And we're going to use our number incrementer inside of a formula, which is the rows function. I'm in F7, so F dollar sign 7. Notice I'm locking the number, colon F7. That way, right now, 7 to 7 is one row. But when I copy this down, that 7 will move to 8, 9, 10. So that's our number incrementer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, greater than 3. F4 to lock that. Anytime it is, that means we're past the third row where we've extracted our last record. So the value of false, I type comma, is going to be double quote. That's blank, empty text string, comma. And now the big part here is the value of false. And this is our lookup. So I'm going to do index. Now we're going to use two arguments in index. Array, that's the range of values to look up. And row number, row number is going to be the hard part. The array, it's this column. Now, this is the first of one, two, three, four columns. And I'm in the first column here, so I need to lock it F4, F4 rows. So when it's copied down, it's locked on this. But when I move to the side, the dancing ants will move over to the next column. That was the easy part. Comma, now row number. We're going to have to not use aggregate like we did in 798. Aggregate just allowed us to use the small function, and we didn't have to use Control Shift Enter. Here we're going to have to explicitly use the small function. Now the array, we really, what do we want in this argument right here? A row number. Well, we need to get a bunch of row numbers from whatever trues we get in this column here. So the row number is going to be inside the small. We're going to say if, because we don't want all the row numbers. We just want the ones that match MAN. And the logical test is going to be what? Where we already saw it, Control V from up there. And if you highlight this and hit the F9 key, which I can't do because that's my pause, you can see it's a bunch of trues and falses. So now, this is inside of the if logical test. So for value if true, we're going to have to give it all the row numbers. And then wherever it sees a true here, one, two, three, It'll look through the value of if trues and retrieve those row numbers. Control Z. Now I'm in a comma, and now I need value of true. So row 
and you can pick whichever one you want it doesn't matter f4 now this will give me four five six and I don't want that so I subtract row of this and then f4 now this will give me row 4 minus 4 which is 0 so we always add one back in this is robust right here because no matter how many rows you insert up here or where you move this table this will always give me 1 2 3 4 which is exactly what the lookup needs all right value if true we don't need the value of false so we simply close it off and then finally this whole little bit right here inside this is the array so I hit if I hit F9 or this button right here it gives me oh there's 15 16 17 so I have an array inside of the small which is what I need and the K I just need to uh, put a, a number increment or 1 2 3 4 as I copy down so control Z and then comma and I'm going to copy this little piece here we already got our number incrementer control C control V there's our K whoops no click OK I was trying to get that that's our K right there so we close that off uh, our row number we just got that this whole small if I were to hit F9 right here is simply going to deliver the first row number right 15 what a bunch of work just for the number 15 control Z all right, so we have that. We close off that. We already have both our true value of true and value of false, so we close that off. And this requires the keystroke Control Shift and Enter. Control Shift and Enter. Immediately, you can look up in here and see the curly brackets. That means we entered it as an array formula. Earlier video, we used aggregate. We didn't have to do that. Copy it down, and so it works. We can test it now. M A N. Uh, we could type J O and we get all the J names with J O J O H so we get just just the records with J O H now this earlier video I named it uh, email retrieving email records I meant to call it phone numbers all right so just it's how you retrieve records based on a partial search criteria in 2007 or earlier using not aggregate but the actual small and then using control shift enter. Alright, see you next video.